Hey there, and welcome back to the studio. Subscribers and friends and family and all those that like to watch art. Messes being made. <laughs> or messes being created, I should say. Today, um, I'm going to do another smash picture for you guys because I had an overwhelming... Um, views and likes um if you want to subscribe to my channel i would appreciate that i i keep thinking once i get up to a thousand subscribers i'm actually going to do a video of my studio and all my tools and all my paints and how i organize it and all that and get a little um, up close and personal with uh my followers so if you want to hit that subscribe button, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, I would like that as well. I'm going to do another dip painting. However, I call them smash paintings. That's what I've always called them. But technically, they are dip paintings. So I want to get started with that. I'm going to use two um, 12 by 12s. And these are inexpensive canvases. I already have them both taped off and legs on them they're just white ones um, and i went ahead and marked i got my bubble wrap down i marked my edges there we go yeah so there's the marks there and here um and i think when i dip them it should go like this huh dip that right into there anyway you know how i get my ends i always stand it up roll it over roll it over this way and back to this way just to get all the edges so i'll set that over here and first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use black artist loft soft body black i like using that it's good stuff and Violet. I just mixed this up yesterday. This is a brand new color for me by Royal Lang Nickel Essentials. Um, it's the, out of the tube paint that you can get from Walmart. I mixed up the uh, paint yesterday. So this is what the tube looks like. You get these at Walmart. So I believe they're like $2.97. Now if you try to buy them online, they're more than that. I'm going to use some fluorescent blue. By Liquitex and I'm going to use some neon orange red and that is by Arteza I don't have much in here so I may have to break down and use a yellow or a pink I don't know how much is in here but anyway neon orange red one of my favorite neon colors uh, from Arteza so again the artist loft black Purple, or violet, I should say, by Essentials Royal Langnickel, Liquitex Fluorescent Blue, and then Neon Orange Red. You think that'll make good colors for, for my dip painting? Kind of, kind of like a galaxy pouring colors that you would use, I think. So, anyway, we'll get started. See how you like this one. The other two are dried and doing well. Um, I uh, haven't used this for a while. Maybe I better shake it up. I have Morris Black too from Liquitex. And I use that a lot. But I've really been liking this because it is a little cheaper. So... There we go. Alrighty. We will. And I apologize for sirens or dog barking or cars going by. I got the windows open again because it got so cool last night. So we just decided we're going to open the windows. I like to have, we have an older home and I like to have the windows open because there is always a breeze. This house always gives a really good cross breeze. Um, it has for a long time, just the way the windows are and the way it's set up. Just you always have a nice breeze. 
So I have a window in the hallway right beside me because um, the wall has been cut out. I don't know why, but this den, or now it's my studio, had a window like cut out. And um, you can see then to the window outside. So it makes it kind of nice, really. Alrighty, we're almost done putting black down. Haven't used this in a while, but I'm using it now. <laughs> All right. I should say, I'm speeding this part up. <laughs> I'm speeding it up in real time. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I'll set that over here, and I will go ahead and smooth this around so we don't have any holes. Again, I'm using uh, bubble wrap that uh, we had gotten something taped, or I mean shipped to us, and was wrapped around it and taped around it. So I'm using that again. Still haven't used the roll of bubble wrap that I had purchased. There we go. I almost thought about using some kind of a cell activator just to see how that worked. I've never done that on a smash picture. You know, I wouldn't think you'd have to. Um, so, like I said, you can use parchment paper. You can use just plastic. Now, you can use a piece of cardboard, I think, if you wanted to. If you wanted to uh, save a little bit of money. All right, I think we got everything covered. Looks like it. I make too big of a mess. And then again, I'll be using my um, Amazon gift card. I always use this to get in the cracks of behind the canvas. So... All right. Now, where do I put these collars? I want to do a, a Galaxy 4-2 and use this. I'm just not sure. I feel like I need more color. We, we may get the regular orange or maybe the neon yellow by our test if we need it. So, I'll start out by making a box. How about that? Make a box. And then I'll make little boxes. I always try to make some kind of a design. I have a iPad and I have Procreate on there. And I have a lot of fun doing the shapes and colors. And let me do a little circle. Man, I like that. I really like that purple, and it looks so cool on black. <laughs> yes, like it. All right, now for the um, fluorescent blue by Liquitex. I think I'll do uh, triangle. This ought to be cool. It's not really flowers or spring or not using any green. Of course, sometimes if you use enough different colors, they muddy up and make colors you didn't want to put in there anyway. What do you think of that? Pretty cool. And all of my paints are mixed with three parts Floetrol, U.S. Floetrol, um, one part Liquitex Gloss Medium, a squirt of GAC, and then one part paint. And I've been really happy with the outcome for a long time. I've been using that same recipe. I mean, I know you can buy cheaper, or I should say less expensive pouring mediums, um, but for right now, well, this is what I like. All right, here we go. What do we do with this? How about some S's? Okay. 
So should I put some yellow in there as well, you think? That's three colors. I think I'm going to put just a little bit of fluorescent yellow. What do you think? Neon yellow by Arteza? Just a little bit. I won't go nuts with it. I haven't used these in a while. We used to do neon night every Friday night, and that's kind of drifted off. <laughs> but let's see here. We'll do some lines. How about that? Line. Skinny lines. What a mess, huh? Yeah, it's not, not real, not a shape of any kind. So, here we go. So we'll get our canvas that's ready. I'm going to grab it by the feet. I see an air bubble there. Let's just pop that sucker. There's a little one. Okay. All right, here we go. Here's the canvas. 12 by 12. I'm trying to line it up so it'll be pretty well lined up all the way around. I drop it already. Okay. It's dropped. You can kind of see the design of the orange and yellow um, on here. that <laughs> what happens I think you get air bubbles in here and then when you get air bubbles that's what causes the uh, like and not you know the paint doesn't adhere to the canvas all right so we get our swifty card out in the corner There. So, kind of fell into a little trance there. <laughs> With the music and the quietness, nobody's here but me, so it's kind of nice. All right, I think we got the corners and all the edges. All right. And when I stand this up, I will do the edges. I'm going to try to pick it straight up this time. Just straight up. And then do the, put it back down to do the edges. Here's this, 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 and this. All right, and I'll move this out of the way because we have to set this somewhere. Okay. All right. Straight up. Looks like it's all black. That's kind of cool, though. Look at that. I'm going to add more color, though, on the second dip. I can tell you that. Look at that. It looks like it's black in the middle, and then look at the sides. 
yep, more color on the next dip. But let's go ahead and I'm trying to remember how I picked this up. So we want to. Get that. Yeah, I'm going to use some bright colors on the next one. And there you have it. Now I'll set that here. And I'm going to add some bright colors to that, people. Yeah, I'm going to add some bright colors to that. It's just, it turned out darker than I wanted. Of course, the purple's dark because I think the next, I think the next uh, picture I make, which when you're when when you're creating these, it's like you're already always thinking of what you're going to do now. Oh, that makes me want to do this, or that makes me want to do that. So I'll do this again. I love this purple. Maybe I should have done it with a purple background. Okay, that's the violet from Royal Lang Nickel. And then this blue, I'm going to use a lot more of it as well. I always do two dips. Always. I don't know why. I mean, I always end up putting more paint down because I want it to be I don't know, clearer or a little different. Okay, there's the blue. And now the orange. I need to make some more. That's what, that's what I'll do tonight. I'll make some more paints. And now to the yellow, the neon yellow. Look how pretty that is. Ah, I love paint, and I love painting. <laughs> I guess you could say I found my niche. I've got doggies. I can hear them running up and down the steps. Hi, baby. Well, a little bit more blue and maybe a tad purple. Here, let's just do this. And now we'll do a star. And now some more orange, and then we're going to try to dip it again. I'm curious how this is going to turn out. I just want to brighten it up a little bit. All right, so we use the purple, blue, the uh, fluorescent neon orange red, and then the yellow. And where is my other canvas? Here we go. All right, ready to dip. Or smash, crunch. All right, here we go, people. There. I'm sure I pull it right back up. <laughs> what what usually happens is you get an air bubble or some air in there, and then when you do that. It um, causes the paint not to adhere to the canvas. 
man, I like these colors. I feel like I need to get some of my coasters out and push them down. It's a little thicker with the uh, bubble wrap, but I like it that way. And I cut the bubble wrap to be a little wider and bigger than the picture, obviously, because paint comes out when you press it down. So that way it's the mess is a lot easier to clean up. All right, here we go. Get up in that corner right there. Those couple of bubbles that just came out down here at the bottom. So, I mean, look how cool this is. I do like to create and do different things and make messes, and I will show you all of my paintings and everything I do, even if it doesn't turn out. I still post it anyway. If it doesn't turn out as good as I thought it would, I just hadn't done one with a black background in a long time, so I wanted to try that. All right, I think we got all the corners. And you could use a bigger um, card, I guess, if you had a different card, you could use a bigger one. You just don't want to move it like what you want to keep the picture straight you don't want to like move it around because the more you move it around the more the paint mixes and the muddier it can get all righty i think we are ready for the wet reveal okay Because once you double dip, you know, just like chips and salsa, could ruin it. Could ruin a good thing when you double dip. All righty. Are you ready? Let's hope this isn't as dark. It still is dark, isn't it? It's a little more colorful on the edges. Which I want to go ahead and do those while I have the colors down right now. Go up. Put that one down. I like those colors there, but that dark or that black just kind of took over. It makes me want to take a, a tool and... Uh, Go over that. Like write something, you know, or make lines in it. All right, I think we're done here. Okay, there's the finished product. I should pop the bubbles. I'll pop the bubbles. This is a little more colorful. But they're really, I think I'm going to have to embellish it or I'm going to probably, I'll probably, what I'll probably do is take a stencil after this dries, I'll take a stencil to it and I'll airbrush something on that. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And there's the sides. I'll use those same colors with a blue. Next time I think I'll make a blue background or yellow or something and then do those. But there you are. There is the finished product. I'm going to pop some bubbles. I think it just dripped. <laughs> All right. All right, people. Well, I'm going to get the drips off the sides. 
and then uh, let them put them out to dry or put them over on the shelf to dry so I may do another one tonight uh, not a smash picture I may do a Dutch pour but I will probably do another one tonight because I'm just in the mood so until next time thank you for joining me subscribe and hit that notification button I'd appreciate it and until we meet again God bless you.